And so it's Wednesday, the 29th of June. And uh, not only can't I get them to go in the trailer now, they I gave them away from my friend who makes cheese and they don't want to eat it. You can look in the thing and so that was a mistake. There's corn in there and there's food and there's whey and they don't seem to be interested in it. Come on, honey. Come on in. So she'll come in the trailer, but now she does not want that food. So I don't know if the whey was spoiled. There's a ton of corn in there. It should be all fermented by now. Yeah. But she's not into it. So I gotta dump all that out. And my friend needs his trailer back, so we're just gonna try this next week. Oh, rub a tummy, baby. She's not she's not happy. She's kind of I can tell she's a little bit Eh, I don't want that. But now with all that whey in there, it's heavy. What's going on, baby? What's going on? What's going on? I think she's also going into heat when she acts kind of weird when she's going to heat. But she's never been a fan of the whey. The other pigs love it. Seem to. You're gonna eat it? Or are you just not happy? What's going on, baby? What's, what did I do wrong now? <laughs> what? What? What's going on, Rubs? looking for the other corn any possible she can turn around all right I give up I give up this week at least they're familiar with the trailer so that's that's positive I gotta put my boots on I gotta get that slop out of there. If I dump it on the ground, maybe they'll be able to pick the corn out. All right. Back to square one. Maybe square two. All right, Rubs, thanks for this little talk. Glad we had this little talk. I'll uh, dump that out and see what else we can do. So these waterers are excellent and they're, they're wonderful when the valves work. I've had valves stick. I've had valves not be adjusted properly. And so if you're gonna go away for the weekend, <laughs> you gotta have someone just check it. That's that's the deal because sometimes, particularly in the other water, the one for the big pigs, every once in a while the valve doesn't open. And then they have no water. So that's why I started using a secondary water. Plus in the in the winter this froze because I didn't realize that there was a spot below where you could put a heater. Um, see this little hole here? You can put a heater in the bottom and you can put a heater in the top and put the cord through this hole here. So the design is good, but it also, like everything else, you have to do it. You have to use it and see how it works. And I would buy another one of these. It seems like the sow's heads are getting too big to go in there. Just like they're too big for the automated feeders, which I gotta move in here. Probably today. And uh, 
I don't know where I'm gonna put the feeder in here, but I'll figure it out. Boom. Three main takeaways with pigs and piglets, right? Never leave a hose unattended in a pig's enclosure. <laughs> That's one. Number two, don't be in a hurry <laughs> when you're moving them. Three, you want a stock trailer that's big enough so that they can fit in or have a stock trailer that has one of those doors in the middle so you can get the ones that are in to stay in <laughs> and the ones that are still coming in to come in. And that's it, three, three keys. <laughs> are really significant with pigs. Don't leave them unattended with a hose. I think the ducks just touched the uh, netting with their beak. <laughs> got, a, got, a, got a bit of a shock. Anyway, that's all I got. But I'm tired. I want a lot of rest. Can I go on vacation? No. If you're starting a farm, you're gonna put in long hours, but you gotta build a support system. You got to build a community. You can't do this all by yourself is what I'm telling myself. <laughs> and I don't like being indebted to other people. <laughs> I want to always give more than I get. That's just, I guess, a Presbyterian thing. Maybe it's a white thing. Maybe it's an old person thing. I don't know. But at least the, the pigs will have fresh water before I go and I'll I'll leave the big pigs where they are. Maybe I have to move the small pigs over to the to the new leased land. I don't know. That's an option. Just I want to keep an eye on them because they taste so good, <laughs> you know, to predators. And I I have they're in the training pen, so I know they're not going to get out. And they they still touch the wire, so they haven't really gotten a lesson after a month. I mean they have, but I want to sleep at night, right? So. Those are thoughts about pigs. Boom. So it's Wednesday, the 29th of June, and I'm gonna be away this weekend. Um, I actually had a pretty cool thing happen. One of my dearest friends just ordered $1,000 of pork for his freezer. So I'll be heading down to Albany with a very full car and coolers. And um, that's confirmation that not everybody, but a lot of enough people value locking in their price at this year's price and getting a freezer full of food that, so they're not battered around by rising food costs, or at least in this one, this one area, so. Anyway, it has been an exercise in intensity, preparing to move three 600 pound pigs. Okay, maybe 500 pound. Maybe rub a tummy six, the others are five. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I'm not a numbers guy. <laughs> but I managed to get two of them in the trailer. So close. And so close. Uh, Curly Freckles got three legs in but I could not get her to move forward. I tried pulling on her tail. Sometimes if you pull on an animal's tail, they will go forward because they will resist what you're trying to do. That's an actually old Ericksonian hypnosis trick. <laughs> Worked for Milton Erickson. I figured it might, be, might work for me, but she wasn't having it because the other pigs were kind of irritable because I think rubber tummy's in heat. And so she didn't want to get too close. So, when I do buy a stock trailer, it'll be a longer one. Just so, and it'll be one that has the, an internal divider. So, it's all learning. And the fact that they became accustomed to eating in the trailer. And then I put whey in there thinking that would sweeten it for them. And they were not into the whey. They just didn't want it. I don't know if it went bad. So, I ended up just dumping all their whey and food and corn on the ground and rubber tummy still wouldn't eat it so i just moved their 
feeding trough back. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard holding the camera this way. Anyway, so we're coming up on July 4th weekend again, and our country is going through probably what we'll look back and see as one of the most historically significant times. Our democracy is being tested. The rule of law is being tested. One party is trying to pull some shenanigans or a part of one party is trying to pull some shenanigans. But the thing is that's on the macro level what happens in all our lives. We go along well for a while and then something comes up and tests us. Something that we didn't prepare for comes up and tests us. And then we're like, oh, okay, I have to be prepared for that, right? So then we take actions to protect ourselves in the future from that ever happening again, and life goes on. We get back to it until the next challenge, the next crisis, because we're living on a finite planet and there's gravity, there's stuff that happens. The, the moon affects us, the planets affects us. There's there are cycles of things. Some of them are huge. Some of them are small. And we we don't generally get a sense of that big picture in our little lives. So this weekend on the 4th of July, and I'm going to try to end this really quickly. <laughs> and because uh, I have two songs I want to share with you. I want to share with you uh, my song Freedom. And I want to share with you a song uh, that was kind of inspired by... Uh, the trials and tribulations of King David in the Bible. He was the hero because he he handled Goliath the giant. But then in his own life, he got kind of screwed up in many ways. And uh, our kings are human. And to give them the power that we give them is ultimately not sustainable. Every king must fall. Every attempted coup will fail at some point. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts. Absolutely, it's been said before. I don't know if that was Nietzsche who said that. I'll look it up or maybe I won't. You can look it up and leave a, leave a comment below and let me know who said the whole thing about power corrupts and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. But on the 4th of July weekend, I want you to commit to your freedom your freedom to think what you want, your freedom to be who you want to be, and your freedom to participate in the world on your terms in a way that helps you to get ready for the next big thing. You know, I mean, I've been doing this for long enough time now. I bought four houses for nothing down at the top of the 1980s real estate bubble. And that popped. Bubbles pop. Cycles happen. But here in nature, at least we kind of know what's going to happen. And the true store of value might not be gold. Might Certainly not the U.S. dollar or any other world currencies. It might not even be Bitcoin. It might be food. It might be animals that can be your food. I don't know. I'm just doing what feels right to do. And I hope you do what feels right to do. And that you think about what you're doing and be conscious of it. Be awake, be aware that this life is temporary. We won't be here for billions upon billions of years. <laughs> We're here now. This is an amazing place. Good news, bad news. It's an amazing place. Whatever happens, find a way to turn it to your advantage, to learn from it, to grow from it, to give yourself the tools and the courage to go, okay, next time I'll do it this way. So next week, I will try to move the pigs again. And this time I will, if two of them get in, I'm shutting the door and we'll just make two trips if that's necessary. We'll figure out a way because we're learning. And my friend Brian is learning, we're all learning. And to have, have neighbors who are willing to help you and willing to learn along with you and willing to, you know, not laugh at you 
for your mistakes, but willing to go, yeah, I did the same thing or I did something similar. And that's freedom, people. And this United States is a miracle in the history of the world. Let's keep it that way. Let's love each other. Let's listen. Let's hear what the other side has to say, but let's also not get tangled up in conspiracy theories and lies. Truth will win in the end. Speak truth to yourself. Speak truth to each other as lovingly as you can. And I will see you in the next one. Here's a song. Here we go. Peace, love, grievousness, over and out. Amen. Just as often much misunderstood It could mean nothing left to lose Or that you get to choose Between two leaders, neither of them good It could mean you have got no plans Or that you cut loose when you dance It could mean you got the guts to speak your mind could mean you have no regrets, beliefs, possessions, pets, or that you always pay your bills on time. It's been a long road that I've been walking down, that I've been lost and found on. It's a long road that I've been walking down, but now I hear the sound of freedom I choose not to be a slave to the assumptions you have made and I accept the consequences of my choice I will make my own mistakes I will find out what it takes From now on I will heed my inner voice I pledge allegiance to myself For the sake of my own health Not a country or a point of view If I declare myself to be A human being free Well you know that gives your freedom to you It's been a long road that I've been walking down that I've been lost and found down It's a long road that I've been walking down But now I hear the sound of freedom
things that somehow just got lost Every king must fall Every king must fall Every king must fall And bravely saved the day But later on had trouble Getting out of his own way The people paid the price For David's weakness as a man Every grab for power Is a line drawn in the sand Every king must fall
what's fake news, what is real, who's right, who's wrong? Can we fools and dreamers change the world with just a this long happy independence day happy fourth of july i hope that you have found something here that was valuable and uh if you like this please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed please leave a comment below or a question and there's so much more coming people it's a busy time i just heard a pileated woodpecker my favorite bird and the uh belted king fishers have come back as well so and we have a house wren over here, chitter chattering. I love the house wren. So, <clears throat> thank you. Peace, love, grooviness. Amen. So, I just heard from my friend Brian <laughs> that he doesn't need his trailer back today. So, I dumped out the food with the whey and. Uh, just filling up their water here well and I put a fresh batch of food in the trailer so even if we can just get him used to eating there for another couple of days I might have an opportunity so we'll see we'll see what we can do I dumped all the other food out right over there I don't know if this will pick it up yeah so that's the food with the whey in it and obviously curly freckles doesn't mind it now Robert tell me what are you doing when she's in heat, she wants to chew on my feet for some reason. So I'm almost full here. Oh, honey. What? You are in heat. You are so horny. I'm not a pig, okay? Go chill out. Go chill out, baby. All right, so we'll see. Maybe they'll go, all go in there today. I put fresh hay in there so they have something to walk on. Because it's kind of slippery in there. But it looks like they're going to be happy just to eat the food that I threw on the ground. So we'll see. Patience, 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 patience. I don't have it. But I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> 